Good morning guys, I'm Frequented World, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about hummingbirds, hummingbird feeders, and um, what we need to do to shoot hummingbirds. Uh, a lot of people try and are unsuccessful, and I'll show you guys um, some images I've captured, um, some of the settings we use on the camera, and um, just a few tips about the hummingbirds themselves. So this is one of the feeders I use, guys, and you'll notice that the actual glass itself is red, um, not the liquid inside. The liquid that I put in here is clear, and uh, all the liquid is is sugar water. So one cup of boiling water to a quarter cup of sugar, and uh, you stir it in while it's hot. That uh, dissolves the sugar, and let it cool, and then you put it in the feeders. It needs to be changed every four days at the most because once it goes bad, the hummingbirds will uh, stop coming. They'll take a drink, they'll say, "Ugh, God, no, and they just stop coming. So you want to make sure you stay on top of changing it. And uh, you don't need to buy, put food coloring in there. It's not good for them. You just get a nice colored glass like this. I got this on Amazon for 20 bucks, guys. It's got the brass fitting on the bottom. It just screws in and rinse it. So every time you change the hummingbird juice, uh, I just give it a really good rinse uh, in the sink to get rid of any ants or spider webs, bugs, um, you know, anything, if there is bacteria that if you've forgotten and it's been sitting in the sun for two weeks and you haven't changed it, there will be bacteria in here. So then you'll have to give it a really good rinse with warm water, shake it up and, and get some clean stuff in there for them. The hummingbirds, uh, the rule is for every hummingbird you see at the feeder, there are four more coming. So multiply whatever number you see at the feeder times four. I've seen three at my feeder at one time, so I know theoretically if using this rule there are 12 hummingbirds using my feeder. So anyway, check out these photos guys. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you my camera settings uh, for shooting hummingbirds. I use a minimum of 1250 shutter speed. If you want to try to freeze a hummingbird's wings, that's the minimum that you need. Um, we don't have very good light today, so I've had to bump my ISO up to 3200 to achieve that. I shoot my camera on uh, manual mode, so I have full control over aperture, shutter, ISO, all that at, at any time. But if you're a little bit less sure of your settings, what you can do is take your camera and put it on the S mode. So if you um, want to control your shutter speed, guys, um, put your dial at the top onto the S mode, which is shutter priority. Then whatever you set your um, shutter speed to, you turn your dial or however you guys set it on your camera, whatever you pick, the camera will set up your ISO um, and your aperture accordingly to maintain whatever shutter speed you've picked. So if you're not quite sure about your settings, um, S mode is the mode you want to go, go into. Shutter speed of 1600 is even better. If you can achieve it on gray days like today, it's really hard. You need a top of the line camera like the Sony a7R 3 which has really good ISO settings on it, and you'd have to bump that up to probably 4000 or 5000 to get a 1600 shutter speed today. Um, but that's, I prefer 1600 uh, as my normal shooting for hummingbirds, but I will use 1250 if I have to. Some of the other settings I use, guys, are autofocus C. You want to be able to continually focus, and I'm using a center focus area. So there's a little patch right in the middle. That little box is all I'm going to be using for focus, and the C means it will continually focus as the birds are moving in and out. They're very fast, very hard to shoot. So the other thing I do is I also pick my high continuous shooting mode. So when I push the shutter button, I'm going to knock out 15 shots here uh, per second or whatever your camera will do. And that's what you want. Get as many shots as you can because these guys are extremely quick. Hummingbirds are one of the toughest, fastest shooting things that you can... Uh try to capture. So don't get hard on yourself. It can take hours just to get a couple good shots. So sometimes it's luck too where you point in the camera and they just happen to fly right in front and you fire off the shots and you get them in focus. That's the hard part guys is the cameras, the equipment, even with top end gear, 
Uh, it doesn't focus fast enough for these guys. They have to kind of hover for a second or two to capture them. So anyway, those are my tips, my shooting uh, settings for hummingbirds. And I'll leave you guys with a few more shots that I've captured over the years of hummingbirds.